passed. It 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 passed. Okay, that's enough of that. Um, the CBR 900 just passed. It's MOT. Got some advisories, but it passed. So it's now road legal. All it needs is taxing. Insurance, MOT, and just needs tax. So um, there are a few advisories. Apart from that, uh, it passed. So what did it have for advisories? Um, this is my test certificate here. No rear foot pegs fitted at time of test. That's because I haven't put any foot pegs on it. Um, so that's fine. Um, Centre exhaust bracket secured to the plastic cable tie. Okay, so I need to sort that. That's fair enough. Um, that's probably not too difficult to sort that. Uh, bolts on some panels not fitted with locking nuts, so I need to put nylock nuts on some things. That's fine, I can do that as well. I've got lock nuts. Emergency stop switch broken but still able to operate. Okay, that's the engine stop switch. Um, I was aware of that, so that's not too big a deal. Neutral lamp illuminated even when in gear. Right, that's because the clock's not wired in properly. Um, so that's it basically. Five, five advisories. And none of those are actually going to cost me any money to fix because I'm not going to bother with the pegs. The other four things are just like nuts and bolts and um, stuff. I suppose I should really get a new switch, but I'll probably just manage with that. Just sort the sort the clocks, sort the put the lock nuts on, and sort a bracket on the exhaust, and that should be good enough. Um, so odometer reading zero miles. Yeah, he must have guessed that my clocks are not wired in properly. I like how he's put Honda and under model he's put unknown. <laughs> That's brilliant. I suppose I could have told him it's a fired blade, but it doesn't matter. So that's it. So that's that's now road legal. So when I was um when I was driving it in, I noticed a few other things. Um I noticed that the rattle um, that I thought was the timing chain actually goes away when you pull the clutch lever in or when you when you're in gear um, so like for example when I was at a few traffic lights and I just held the clutch lever and instead of going into neutral um, the rattle the rattle went away that there was no rattle there and then as soon as I put it into neutral and let the clutch out the rattle came back so what that tells me is that it's the the clutch is tired now I've had a look on eBay and I can get um, clutch springs uh, for about 12 quid so I'm just going to do that and just sort my clutch and that'll get rid of that rattle um, what's the other thing it, the bike won't go above about four or five thousand rpm or 50 miles an hour or like I don't know 50 60 mile an hour um, and I think that's because of the carburetors the, there's not enough fuel getting through I think it's running too it's running too lean because I noticed the exhaust's clicking quite a lot when I stopped the bike. So I think it's getting too much air and not enough fuel. The air fuel mix is wrong, so I need to set it to run a bit richer and maybe balance the carbs while I'm at it. And that should fix that. Um, what else does it need? The front indicators are, are a bit kind of wobbly. I'm, I think I'm going to replace them with some different indicators. I've got some different indicators that I can put straight on. Um, and what was the other thing? I need to sort the clocks, so I need to get a proper speed sensor that actually works and get the clocks working. So um, that's pretty much it, really. Um, just bits and pieces to do. So I'll be putting videos up of the those things when I do them. Um, need to get some parts ordered up just now. Uh, that's grand. Thanks for watching.